Corey designs a stormwater collection system consisting of polyvinyl chloride pipes with a manning coefficient of 0.011. Each pipe has an average slope of 2% and the peak flow of the drainage area is 575 gallons per minute. The necessary nominal size required to accommodate the flow is most nearly A, 10, B, 8, C, 6, or D, 4. Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we'll be talking about channel flow. Open channel flow is a type of liquid flow within a conduit with a free surface, known as a channel. Pipe flow is a type of liquid flow within a closed conduit in the sense of a means of containment. These two types of flow are similar in many ways, but differ in one important aspect. Pipe flow does not have a free surface which is found in open channel flow. Pipe flow, being confined within the closed conduit, does not exert direct atmospheric pressure but does exert hydraulic pressure on the conduit. Not all flow within a closed conduit is considered pipe flow. Storm sewers are closed conduits but usually maintain a free surface and therefore are considered open channel flow. The exception to this is when a storm sewer operates at full capacity and then can become pipe flow. But closed channel flows are generally governed by the principles of channel flow as the liquid flowing possesses free surface inside the conduit. The Manning equation is an empirical equation for uniform open channel flow. It can be used for water flow rate calculations in either man-made or natural open channels. Water flow calculations with the Manning equation uses the channel slope, hydraulic radius, and Manning roughness coefficient. A side note, when needed, the discharge formula, flow equals area times velocity, can be used to manipulate this equation. The Manning equation for U.S. units is as follows, where Q is the volumetric flow rate, N is the Manning coefficient, A is the flow's cross-sectional area, R is the hydraulic radius, which is the area divided by the wetted perimeter. For full circular pipes, it will be the diameter divided by 4, and S is the bottom slope of the channel. For SI units, the equation will have a coefficient of 1 instead of 1.49. Our flow rate is 575 gallons per minute. The unit conversion is one cubic foot per second is equal to 449 gallons per minute. So we can calculate our flow to equal 1.28 cubic feet per second. So let's plug in our info into the Manning equation. Let's slowly work our way towards solving for the diameter, getting rid of the easy terms first and those we can actually calculate. And we are left with the following 0.214 equal in the diameter raised to the 8 third power. I'll raise both sides to the 3 eighth power to be left with D and I get a value equal to 0 0.56 feet which is equal to 6.72 inches. For nominal sizes we'll go with the next highest size that will accommodate our maximum flow so the answer is B. Join us for episode 12 of 52P 